a thought on the split starting here and uh, getting the split? And I know you just guys were disappointed last night, but how do you feel about going home with one one? Yeah, um, obviously after getting the first win, you want to get the second one. So that was the goal going into game two. Um, didn't happen, so you turn the page and look to game three. What did you like about your game last night, and uh, what didn't you like? About um, I thought we took over a, a good portion of the game. I thought we had a lot of good chances. Um, they're obviously a really good team, and they had some opportunities as well. Um, I thought Skinner was amazing. I think he looks confident, um, poised in net, and um, yeah, I think we're doing a good job of uh, creating and defending. Always had confidence in Skinner, but how has that grown throughout this class, especially these last handful of games? Yeah, you can just tell by his demeanor um, on and off the ice. He's poised, he's confident, um, and you know when the puck's going in our zone, you can feel confident that he's ready to, to be the man. There's talk about sort of keeping the pace kind of quickly deflating, but this team has almost changed it into a bit of a momentum gainer. What's the vibe on the bench when that does happen? Yeah, I think everyone just kind of gets amped up and, you know, let's get this kill, let's be ready. And, um, you know, when we get a big save or a couple of big clears, it, it definitely builds some momentum and confidence on the bench. Going back to Edmonton now for the first time in the conference final this year, what do you remember about how Edmonton showed up and all of Oil Country came dressed? Yeah, it's amazing. This time of year is just an amazing place to play. I think uh, everyone on our team knows that. Everyone that's played in Edmonton, you know, against us knows it. Um, you see the, the people outside uh, when you're getting warmed up. You can see through the windows, and it's just an amazing environment. You drive around the city. The flags are everywhere. Um, you know, I go to the grocery store. People are coming up to me and, and thanking me and being appreciative and supportive, and it's just a great place to play. How much different is playing against the Stars defense than it was against Vancouver? Vancouver seemed to have big physical defense when the Stars looked like they have guys that are really mobile, can move the puck, and have good sticks. Yeah, definitely a different beast. Um, Vancouver is really, really hard to get to the net. They had big guys that were physical, and they play a different defensive style too with the um, kind of the steel ball structure is what that's called, and, and um, Dallas is a little bit different. Um, obviously still hard to get to the net, but they're very mobile. Um, we're trying to finish our checks on them and kind of stay above them, prevent them from getting in the rush. Um, but yeah, definitely two different beasts there. What makes them so difficult to play against when they do get the lead? Um, yeah, they haven't had the lead too much yet, so it's hard to say. But um, they definitely lock it down. They're, they're pretty physical. They use their sticks a lot and, and make it hard to get to the offensive scoring chances. And they have a really good goaltender, so that helps. Dallas is obviously very aware of your power play and what it can do. Uh, so you're limited to I think, one chance in each game. Uh, is there anything you guys can do to hopefully force them into taking more? Yeah, I think we can probably um, continue to move our feet in the offensive zone. I think they are using their sticks a lot, getting away with a little bit more there, but that's kind of out of our control. It's also playoff hockey, so it's just the way it is. Um, yeah, I think we're doing the same things that we've been doing in previous series to try and draw penalties, and, and um, you know, you can't really look to draw more penalties, just play the way you're playing and, and hopefully you get the calls. That's playoff hockey. Is that and aside from this series, just in general, do players like that? That you can kind of get away with a little bit more defensively, that you can get a little more physical, that they call a little less. Is that a is that a good thing for a player? Um, I think it's just the way it is. Um, I think maybe some consistency there would be great in terms of is it playoff hockey or are they calling it to the regular season standard? What is it? Um, but I, I think it is. I think that's what makes playoff hockey so exciting and so hard. Um, I know growing up as a kid and, and as, a, as a fan, as an adult, you, you look to playoff hockey and you see the Warriors out there on the ice battling and grinding and, and it's fun to watch.